Well, I'm gonna put a thumbprint right here, which I've done. I'm gonna put it in this vacuum chamber. I'm gonna put a little aluminum foil packet of super glue in there, turn on the vacuum, and hopefully we'll get fumes that will make this visible. The idea is that inside the vacuum, the super glue fumes will settle and stick to the grease on the fingerprint and leave the clean glass untouched. It's right there. I'm not sure that I see it any better than I did before. They then add the powder to the glued print, but will it stick? Oh, look at that. That's really clear. Much clearer than we were getting without the super glue. Yeah. With the print done and dusted, Adam scans it and then uh, prints it out. And everything's ready for the most basic of tests. Scanning. Please wait. Hey, Adam. Yeah. I'm not able to get a, a clear enough print. Like, it's, it's looking too muddy on the print. Their paper print is clear as mud. To beat even the low-tech computer, they'll need to improve their handiwork. Access denied. All right, this is a process where we're going to etch these fingerprints onto a copper-coated circuit board. And it involves uh, making a clear acetate of the fingerprint, laying it over a circuit board that is coated with a photoreactive chemical. I will expose it to a light. And when I remove the acetate, I will wash away everything that hasn't been exposed. The exposure and washing treatment leaves the copper with an exact copy of what was on the acetate. So. Oh, that looks really good. Then it's immersed in acid, which dissolves the copper, but leaves the black print, thereby creating a slightly raised 3D etch. Why don't you rub your finger around on a safe place and see if you can feel an edge? Um, oh, yeah, no. I can. Why don't you go try and make a, a, casting. Make a casting of that, and we'll try it out on our thing. You got it. I hope this works. The last step is to take a casting of the etch with ballistics gel, which has similar properties to human skin. Now we're talking. And with the gel dished up, they're all set to try Jamie's print on the computer scanner. Let's go see whether it works. Access denied. Access denied. The problem is that the ridges aren't deep enough on this. Um, I'm getting a pattern, but it's, it's just not there. When you put your own thumb on it, you see a bunch of distinct lines. With this thing, we're seeing kind of a blob. The etch simply hasn't created a clear enough print to con the computer, let alone grant super lock. That's not working, so I guess plan B would be to while Jamie tries to figure out plan B, Carrie's pulling off the other part of this impossible mission, getting hold of Grant's thumbprint. Grant doesn't think we can covertly get a hold of his fingerprint. He gets really suspicious every time Jamie or Adam comes over here. So I'm going to have him copy a stack of CDs, and hopefully that way we can get a hold of his fingerprint. He's going to come through the store any minute. It's freaking me out. <laughs> Carrie's turned double agent to try to snare Grant's thumb and a CD case may be the perfect foil. And bingo, he takes the bait. Remember how you said we couldn't covertly get your fingerprint? Easy as pie, but Grant's not amused. Yes, I told the producer yesterday that it would be almost impossible to covertly get my fingerprint. Apparently, I was wrong. You weren't expecting a double agent, were you? Yeah, from our own team! <laughs> With the master print under wraps, Jamie successfully dusts it off. Look at that. Scans it in, and when he prints it onto acetate, he has one of those Heinemann moments of genius. As you can see here, the prints that we were getting are all kind of jaggy looking. It's not real clean lines. So I realized that I can go back in in this scale with a marker and clean up these jaggies, and then we can shrink it back down and we'll retry our etch and see if that works. It's a fine line, but with both Jamie and Grant's prints cleaned up, first impressions are that this might just work. Dude, I think that's perfect. With their hopes raised, it's back to the etch. But in case you're thinking of trying this at home, 
maybe we've edited out one crucial step. So, sorry, but you can't. Jamie? Yeah. These look beautiful. Good. I think they're really, really good. Yeah. Jamie makes new gel prints, and then it's all ready to test. You got something? Yeah. Oh, that is good looking. That's as good as we're gonna get, so. That's as good as we're gonna get, let's try it. Okay. This time, the computer doesn't reject it straight away. It reads it, reads it some more, and then. Access granted. Yay, we got it. Yes? Yes. Dude, you just made my day. With access granted on the computer, it's time to access grant Superlock. But that's taking things to a whole new level. Welcome, Jamie. Hey! <laughs> so it works. Fantastic. That is awesome. So next up, it's Grant's fingerprint lock that has his thumb as the master. To rise to the challenge, Adams fetched the edge of Grant's covertly obtained print. He's used this to make a latex copy that he's planted straight onto his warm, sweaty, pulsing thumb. OK, so you guys ready? Yeah, we've been working on this for days, and I think we have a couple of things that might work. Cool. OK, well, I'll be here. All right. All right. You first. OK. Here's my patented Imahara thumb. But it's a bad start. Adam resets and tries again, but nothing. With this technique dribbling towards busted, Adam tries licking the latex. Hey, hey! And he's in. He has set off the next alarm, but the finger's been foiled. I don't care about the alarm. It works, man. No way. <laughs> that is latex glued to my thumb. But they're not stopping there. Well, that's one down. Shall we try uh, all of our other techniques? Next up, it's Jamie, who's made a regular ballistics gel print of Grant's thumb. And guess what? Yay! Hey, nicely done! <laughs> That's two for two! No way! <laughs> At this point, the one we bought for the computer is a lot harder to break than this one. Yeah. Well, I say we move on to the copy paper now. With everything they do working, the team goes for broke by trying the photocopy of Grant's print. But surely something this simple can't foil the finger. <laughs> This is dumb! What is this? Well, there's your problem. <laughs> so the myth that fingerprint locks can't be foiled is busted.